Get away from me that way. I'm about to yell, okay? So we real loud. What's good? What's up, you two back with another video? <laughs> People don't think it's really that loud, but it's real loud. It's that loud. Okay. We back with another one. Um, I'm gonna let my two god brothers right here introduce themselves. We'll start with the light bright. Go ahead. What's up, y'all? I'm Will Kellum, Christian rapper, and yeah, whatever. God. Oh man. You know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm a. Uh, who am I? Nah, you know, Pierre, Silas, Finn, Zion. So I don't know how many videos this is realistically gonna be. We're all on a path to be all God wants us to be. In that we have seen a few obstacles that have us separate from the normal life. I probably use the same intro to be honest with you, but let's get right to the topic. But before we do anything, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe down below to this video. I'll put their Instagrams in the description and let's get into it. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's just like what the facts happen. <laughs> <laughs> And he was like, you know, your your woman, your girl, your wife, or whoever, she gotta be married to Jesus first. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? No, she don't. No, wait a minute. No, Jesus is her brother. Like, God is her father. Like, why would she marry him? That makes no sense. Mm -hmm. It was like she needs to be married to Jesus first before she can marry you. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, your wife gotta cheat on you with Jesus first, right? I'm like, no, she does not, bro. You're you tripping. Why would she? That doesn't even, I mean, that's so true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was so, it's crazy how pride a, a block out your ears from ever learning something new mm -hmm. to being taught. You can never not be taught. If that's the case, we wouldn't even need God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so that, man, that pride, bro, was killing me. But you know, God rid of me of that praise God. Tell him about that 40-year-old uh, that minister who said, you can't teach me nothing. You know what? Yeah. Brief story. You, are you talking about? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You said you was talking to somebody about something. You from giving them the insight or something? They're like, bro, I've been doing this for four years. Oh, <laughs> wow. I don't know how she knows this, <laughs> but so I'm my ministry, my church. They have us going to nursing homes, and they have us preach to the people because you know people don't go out to nursing homes. They don't love them, so we have legit church services. We pray for these people. I talk to them. God gave me this dynamic word about. I want to say it was like unforgiveness and love, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm preaching to these people. You cannot tell me this word did not touch these people because after I got done preaching, many people came to me like, bro, please, I need prayer. And you would think that something's off them because I'm in a nursing home. Mm -hmm. They deal with dementia. They deal with all type of things that the world can diagnose them with, right? Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, I'm praying for them. They're crying. They're calling on God. They're loving on Jesus. Like, God, you are the best. And I'm like, man, God, you are really touching their souls. Mm -hmm. As soon as I step out the building, as soon as I step out the building, God was like, hey, you know, minister, I was like, he like, hey, you know that word wasn't for them, right? And I'm like, huh? What you talking about? He's like, that word was not for them. It was like, you was all over the place. You, you preached, you know, it was good for like if it was at a church service, but that they didn't they they couldn't receive you because they couldn't understand you. I'm like okay, and he was like, uh, <laughs> he was like, yeah, that wasn't really for them. And he was like, for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Like you was all over the place, and then you finally came back to it, and you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for forty years, and you know what I'm saying? This that and third, and you know what I'm saying? Like I'm this that and third, man. I make money, man. How much money you make? I mean, he was really going <laughs> everywhere, like and I'm like, he's like, you ever made? You ever made like seven hundred dollars in a day? I'm like, yeah. He was like, doing what? Truck driving? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, it felt good, didn't it? I said, no. <laughs> you want like the enemy would love to gas you up, yeah. nah, bro. And so he's just like spent like forty minutes in this blazing hot sun. It was like ninety degrees, and I had a sweater on. <laughs> just like going off on me about how bad I was at what I was doing for God. And I wasn't surprised because the enemy has to come attack, bro, what God has done for people. Mm -hmm. He has to, and, and the thing about it, the enemy has to come because it confirms that you really did something yeah. for God. It's like that's a confirmation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I walk out the door and get attacked by the same person that's supposed to be covering me, praying for me. Mm -hmm. Cool. And it taught me about, because you, I'm a, I'm a firm believer. I don't want to preach nothing I cannot live. 
Facts. Nothing. So as soon as you as soon as you talk about it, you gotta put yeah, it to work yeah. to yourself. I had to live that out. <laughs> So that very moment. The very moment. <laughs> yeah. And so like I'm teaching like, man, y'all gotta forgive people, y'all gotta love on people. You know, love really conquers over a multitude of sins. Like, I'm preaching that as soon as I walk out the door, God's like, okay, let's see what you really gonna live what you're talking about. I believe it's God more so than I'm not gonna give no glory to Satan because he's a puppet. But like, so that happened and at that moment of me being persecuted, talked down on, lied on, all of these type of things, I had to God was literally talking in my ear, like, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. And I just sat there. And I'm like, see, I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? If somebody comes after your pride, somebody comes after your character, you be like, bruh, I either want to go off on you in the word, I want to punch you in your nose, bruh. <laughs> I want God to send lightning down to burn you up right now, bruh. All, All of that. But God was teaching me humility. Yeah. To where even when you're in a right or not wrong, it doesn't mean you always have to like go after something or go mm -hmm. after somebody and attack mm -hmm. somebody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to prove yourself. God can defend himself. But it's crazy how I love Donnie. Later down the line, he's looking for me for help. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I preached a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He ran up to me hugging me crying. Like, I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, hugging back. I love on him. And I, I have to love on him excessively because I have to let him know that even though, you know what I'm saying, like what you did is literally covered by the blood and I don't hate you. Mm -hmm. I cannot sit here and tell people to be saved and be Christ-like if I don't be Christ-like. Like the same people that ridiculed Jesus, talked down on him, spit on him, the Bible said they was being unrecognizable, pulled his beard out, was stabbing him in the side when he got up on the cross, all of that. When he got up on the cross next to the thief and the murderer or whatever, he literally said, God forgive them for they know not what they do. How do you ask God to forgive people that are killing you for no reason? Like, we think we go through stuff. That's a whole different level. That's a whole... Like, like they're literally killing you. Like, forget people talking on down on you. In the midst of it. You feel me? Like, in the midst of it, bro. Not afterwards. You at home thinking like, dang. It's like my fault. Man, God, come on. Nah. You talking about people literally punching you in the face, spitting on you, throwing rocks at you. That's crazy. And you like, God, forgive them. Yeah. I'll be like, no, God, kill them. Get him now. Take him away from me. You feel me? Like, God, protect me from my enemies. From me. I need that. <laughs> protect me from my enemies, God. Yeah, yeah. People ain't your enemy, but, yeah. you know, but, you know, we, we go through that. You'll be surprised what you come up against within the ministry, though, man. For real, sis. But. So what would y'all tell people, as you talked about depression, and, you know, and our weakness, God is strong, but what would you tell those people who are going through a tough situation and they don't know to run to God? They know of God. They know, okay, God can help me through this. But they turn to what they feel is right. How can you help them through those depressed times? I'm going to let you take this. Okay. Because I bet money. I bet money. If anybody is going through a situation to where they feel like they don't know how to run a God, but they know they need to, there's somebody there that they can connect with. And if you don't feel like there's somebody in the physical sense, you're watching this video for a reason. Mm -hmm. Right? Reach out to us. But the thing is, I think a lot of times we try to do it all on our own. That's the wrong thing. I've, I've never seen in the Bible somebody's deliverance came by themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, God will send somebody, or even if he had to send an angel or something, but like God will send something or somebody to help push you to that place of deliverance. Because mm -hmm. deliverance is a place you're being delivered. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're going to somewhere to be delivered. So, God has to push you somewhere, but you if you can do it on your own, you would have been did it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when people read the Bible and they get confused, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says a carnal mind can't understand the things of Christ. Mm -hmm. You're not just going to crack open the Bible and be like, oh, yeah, this is... No. It comes through His Spirit. The Bible says the Holy Ghost reveals all the secrets of God. So if you need the secrets of God to be revealed, how are you going to do it without His Spirit? Mm -hmm. Somebody has to teach you how to get the Spirit of God. Somebody has to teach you how to get baptized, get the Holy Ghost, and, and start living a way to where the enemy cannot cloud your judgment, the enemy can't cloud your ears or cloud your vision. because.